Good morning, today it's the 6th of May and uh, today I have a little bit better in yesterday I was a little bit um, I was a little bit sick and I was sick and today I'm feeling a little bit better so yeah so it depends what how it is when I eat breakfast so let's see how it is when I eat my breakfast it's maybe it's better or not better okay now we're in the breakfast restaurant up here on the top of the hotel Jamie actually managed to eat something today yeah so that's a good start not as much as normal, but much more than yesterday, so much better. But he'll need his energy today because we have to go to see those mountains behind the town. That's where we're heading today, in that direction. So we have to go from uh, 400 meters to 1,200 meters. So it's a day where he needs his energy, so it's good we didn't attempt that yesterday. So. Okay, let's uh, see if we can get packed away and get going again. Okay, bikes are loaded again. Just uh, outside our hotel here in Denzili. Two days here. But, uh, now we are outside again. Let's see if we can get rolling again. Yeah. If Jerry's got some energy today. Yeah. And, uh, got a bit of a big climb to do. But, uh, I've got a map I can show you with a rough plan where we're going through Turkey. And the first part of the trip here has been pretty flat and then we've got a climb to do today and then it's flat again but uh, today we have to climb about 800 meters. So, um, let's see how much hard work that's going to be and how hot it's going to be and everything. So we'll see, let's get going. It's good to come outside again. Okay, we're the town now. See the mountains straight ahead. So we're heading into those soon. I assume we will be leaving the, uh, the valley we've been biking in for the last week or so. So it's uh, finished with doing 30 kilometers an hour. Now we've got to do some work today. Need to get up there. Actually, quite a nice cycle path in this town here. First time we've seen that in Turkey. Okay, this is where it starts to go up. We're at 510 meters altitude now. Let's uh, go and see some Turkish mountains. Three of our bikes they're running on roll off hubs. It's a German manufactured gear hub. And when you get into gear number one, like we are now, basically at walking speed <laughs> for the granny gear. But means we can get slowly up the mountain with all the luggage on. Without having to push, it has to be extremely steep for uh, you can't ride your bike up these mountains. But let's take it slowly, plod along, and then eventually we get there. Good to see Jeremy's full of strength again, back out in front like normal. Okay, it started raining, luckily petrol station turned up <laughs> yeah. so we can uh, shelter under here we thought it would be a problem with the heat today up the hill and then it's raining instead of <laughs> didn't say that on the weather forecast no. oh, the sun came out again so that's nice Just got a little bit of news on the Iran visa project. And, uh, 
travel company I wrote to yesterday, they'd written to us again and said that uh, they should be able to help us. And uh, he said that also Danish people, they can get a visa easy, but if you're cycling through, you still need a, a guide. So uh, he proposed that we have a, a driver guide so we'll be collected at the border of Turkey and Iran and driven to Tehran. And we'll have a few days sightseeing there. And then uh, we have to give him an itinerary of where we want to go. And then uh, we'll fly directly from there to Uzbekistan. But, uh, So if we give him an itinerary later, and then he'll give us an idea what that costs. See whether that's going to be a possibility or not. But uh, we'll see. We'll see how that goes. Maybe we just have a bit of climbing to do today first. Okay, it's gone past a thousand meters in altitude. Wasn't too bad, really. Summit, 1,100 meters. Yeah, just come over the summit, 1,200 meters. I didn't film anything because it was absolutely throwing it down with the rain. So we're in the supermarkets in this town. But they've got lots of gnomes everywhere. These kind of things. <laughs> Very fast. <laughs> Cruising at 30. Lane carriage right there, even though there was a, a nice shoulder on the side of the road, so we had plenty of space. So, I had a smaller road heading towards Sutherland Lake. So, nice and flat at the moment. So, Jamie's doing really well today. Now yeah, we've done 60 kilometers already, plus a thousand meter mountain. So, now we're only 20 kilometers away from Selda Lake, so if it doesn't rain and thunderstorm. We may even be able to get there today. So. After we got up on top of the mountain, we came to like a plateau. It's just a been for a long time. It was completely flat, and we mm -hmm. had wind in our back. We were just yeah, yeah. A good time, I get everything. Yeah. Everything yeah. went right at the same time. <laughs> and now we're just having a little nut break here. Mm -hmm. Some nuts we bought in that town. There, it's a mixture of nuts and figs and all kinds of dried fruits. And the thing we don't know so much about, uh, I don't know so much, and we have tried uh, the work. Yeah, it's this kind of thing. A fig? Yeah, yeah a fig. Mm. It's good, good for biking energy. Mm -hmm. Nice scenery here as well. Nice and quiet, I was not cold. One final mountain climb, and we should actually be at Salda Lake. I'm 75 kilometers now, so 
We started at 10 o'clock and now it's half past five. So now we're starting to get a little bit low on energy. And today it's meta mountain climbing that's got the energy at the end. <laughs> One thousand two hundred and seventy-five meters now. It's our second mountain pass today. Now I think we can see the lake. Okay, we're actually now we've settled the lake. It's out there. Can't see it because it's a bit dark. <laughs> Bit late by the time we found a place to camp. Now yeah, we're in this really nice little tent here. Yeah. Fire going. Very interesting place. Nice to get something to eat. We did buy our own food, but a bit too late to cook that now in the dog. Yeah. It's so a hard day with 80 yeah. kilometers on two mountains. Yeah, I think it's the first day I've got aching legs actually. Mm. Yeah, and one thing is today has been really late. I think this has been one of the most latest days mm. we have tried. Yeah. And I was sick one, one day after. Being I sick, was yeah. sick. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, hard. Mm -hmm. So, but, uh, now we're here now. Tomorrow morning, morning we'll go and have a look at the lake and we can try and find out what it looks like. <laughs> I was thinking whether it was stupid to carry on the waterproof clothes and puff jackets and everything with us and fleeces, but now I've got it all on again. Yesterday I couldn't get rid of the heat, it was so hot, and then today we are cold. Yeah, it's amazing. One day from morning to the evening, the difference of can change there and a completely different surroundings. A nice fire going here. I like loud music on these uh, Turkish campsites. Another one with full music blasting on a Sunday evening. Yeah. Campsite dog kennel camping. It's a bit, <laughs> it's a bit uh, all you see in the morning when uh, we call it dog kennel camping. So we've got three got dogs outside our tent. So we're going to sleep really good tonight. And the bikes are definitely safe here. <laughs> so, and we've got uh, entertainment we can hear. We don't need to turn on the BBC tonight. We can just listen to the Turkish music. So. <laughs> yeah, you never know where you're going to end up on these trips. Uh, that's the way it is tonight, dog kennel camping. <laughs>